Hey guys, welcome to another redstone video. I've actually been waiting six years for this moment and today they finally came. We can fill water bottles with dispensers. So I went straight ahead and made an automatic water bottle filler. Alright, so here's the system. You can put glass bottles in at the top hopper and here at the bottom of the chest you can take out the water bottles afterwards. Alright, let's do this. Let's put in half a stack of glass bottles. As you can see this works at hopper speed. We get yeah, if you would run it all the time, you get 9,000 water bottles power. Apart from a nice trick that we use, there's not much to say about redstone. So we start a clock whenever there's something in this hopper here. And the nice trick is just using the update order. So we actually don't need to lock the hopper below the dispenser. Because we would actually fill up the water bottle before the hopper can pick it up. So if you would put in a water bottle into this dropper and power it with the button here, it would power the dropper and also the dispenser on the side. And it would actually fill it up before the hopper can react. So as you can see there's normally nothing in the bottom hopper. And here's just the glass bottle. If you do this, then we get the filled up water bottle. Alright, that's really all the videos. In this case here we power the dropper directly via observer. Obviously the system is mostly useful if it's part of a larger brewing system because then you don't need to worry about supplying it with water bottles yourself. If you just need a couple of water bottles, you can just go to water source and fill them yourself, I guess. But in case you want something like this, here's a quick tutorial. My inventory, I've got already all the required materials you need at least. So let's start. Let's start with the downwards facing dropper. Then here we need a dispenser. Then I would recommend put down a chest here, hopper pointing into it. For the water source, in order to use the lowest amount of blocks, we're using a stair here that's gonna get water locked on the side. Could just put some trapdoors or normal blocks just to prevent the water from flowing out. So let's water lock it. Then the back we need two observers facing this way, two observers facing this way. Then a block, a rail, now the clock starts, doesn't matter. As soon as we add the hopper here on top, the comparator, the block, and the torch will stop. And that's already it. We can also add another chest on top. But since the glass bottles stack, uh, but the water bottles don't, yeah, the bottleneck is really a storage at the bottom. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.